if you want to sell your property, check out our website and contact us. We will be very happy to come and see your place and help you to sell it or help you to find your next home. In today's video, we're going to check out this property. A few minutes away from Tawala, a few minutes away from Alona Beach. A lot of potential in this property, 1,400 square meter that was utilized in this way that we're going to see in this video. Roll the intro. There's a lot of things going on in this 1,400 square meters. Starting at the entrance, we have this beautiful ancestral house. It's actually a resort. This right now, I believe, is like the staff house. We also have this area, which is a little bit your zen area, a place where you can relax. As you see, they're utilizing a lot of uh, very native uh, design. Perfect for this kind of place. Perfect for this kind of uh, island vibe. Okay, so we saw the first part uh, is the ancestral house area. Separated by a gate, we enter the area where we have the cottages. Uh, not only one cottage, we actually have two villas. One on the side, one here. One studio that we're going to see later. And two little cottages. Let's start with the villas here in my back. As you see, a little porch in the entrance. Uh, Again, all native materials, uh, kitchen, just enough uh, if you're here for holidays. Uh, and bringing us uh, here, we have this very native, very classic uh, stairs uh, bringing us uh, to the second floor. So guys, you have to check the second floor. This, it really reminds me a little bit of life back in the province here in the Philippines. Everything is wooden. Also the furniture we have here, all bamboo. And uh, it really give me the impression, yes, I am in the Philippines. Believe it or not, this kind of design, this kind of style is in demand, especially for a lot of foreigners. And even if we have the cottage, uh, style house. Uh, we still have the comfort of an uh, electric fan. I can see there's an aircon down there, big beds, uh, and uh, this uh, terrace here where you can relax on your bamboo chair and enjoy the view of this cute pool. How cute is that? I mean, you cannot really do Olympic uh, competitions there, but just to refresh yourself a little bit, uh, it's more than enough. So we have two of these villas. Just like this, uh, we also have a studio that we're going to see right now. Another zen area where you can come and relax. Uh, and the studio, probably good for one or two person, comfortably, actually even three. It comes with aircon. This is a little bit less native. We have concrete walls everywhere. I don't know if you can see this. Uh, what's that? Is another bed? Maybe it converted to beds. It's like a lot. Ah, just like a loft, they suggesting me where you can put an extra room. So one, two, three, comfortably. At the end, we have uh, a little comfort room. Moving on. So now we are in the most native area of the resort. So we have these uh, two little cottages. Uh, they call it here Bahai Kubo. As you see here, uh, it's uh, completely made with uh, local material, nothing concrete. Uh, it's all wood and bamboo. And um, there is market for this place because a lot of people like to come here and experience uh, the real Filipino vibe, the real Filipino style. There's no air con here for sure, but uh, we have electric fan. We have the bed covered with a mosquito net. They were telling me they're renting these places like 1,600 pesos per night, which is a very affordable price uh, considering the location. Guys, we are just walking distance from the most beautiful beaches in the island. We also have a comfort room here with shower. It's not not a five stars resort, definitely. But if you're cool with it, I mean, you can really have a beautiful vacation with a budget. We have two like this. The second one we're going to see right now is a little bit different because it's like 
elevated. So this one, they got the Baha'i Kubo, same exact size, one level up. I mean, this is the perfect place for, you know, backpackers. They just need a place to crash and to sleep. Anyway, during the day, they're out here on the beach, enjoying the highland hooping, getting their motorbike, exploring the countryside tours here in Bohol. So you just need a place to come in the night and relax. 1,600 pesos, you have it here. Good for two people. I like this a little bit better. Since it's elevated, it feels like there's a little bit more hair going around and uh, it has its charm if i have to be honest with you and we are now here at the third and the last part of this property this huge building behind me is a residential place they have three apartments three floors one floor per apartment as you can see all these 1400 square meters are properly utilized there's a lot of potential i mean you can keep it like this three different style all over the property or develop your cottages or putting up more residential units or remove everything and make it all your zen garden is all up to you the new buyer because this place is for sale as you see there's a lot of going on and the owners are actually very open to any kind of negotiation as for now as we talk in june 2024 everything that you saw in this video is for sale for 31 millions but they're also open to just maybe selling this part separately or this part separately if you don't want everything so they're open to negotiation they are open to any kind of package that suits your needs better 